we're here in Iceland in the start of uh, February. We've had, uh, I think, the 10th snowstorm of the year. Azure is a 50-year-old uh, company, established here in Iceland in 1971 by Azure Christensen, who is an amputee and a prosthetist, and he invented the silicone liner, which is still one of our best-selling products. And uh, it was his sort of passion around improving the mobility of amputees that was laid the foundation for what the company is today. And now, 50 years later, we have operations in 36 countries. We have around 4,000 employees, and it's been this commitment to innovation and improving functional outcomes that has been uh, one of the key drivers for uh, growth in the business. And this part of the healthcare market that has commoditized when it comes to product, but there's also a big part of the market that where you still have an opportunity to innovate on product and create better functional outcomes. But innovation is more than just a product. It's how we deliver the product and how we think about designing the product. Again, what materials, what packaging, there's a lot of room for innovation in that regard, but also on functional outcomes, also creating products that solve fundamental healthcare issues. One of my favorite questions is, is what is innovation in the healthcare industry? And I think for most people, the knee jerk answer is that it, product innovation is, is what they think about. So that we innovate products to have better health outcomes for patients. Um, and of course, that, that is true. And it's, it's as true for OSA as it would be for any medical device manufacturer. But you can also innovate, um, as we hope to now, in the impact that uh, providing that care has on the environment or on the community that you serve. We should keep in mind that sustainability is not only uh, about environment and fighting climate change. Sustainability has three main pillars, sometimes referred to as planet, people, and prosperity. And the challenge is to keep a balance between those three pillars. And for many years, focus on environment was not so much, but that is changing fast now. You've heard of the Hippocratic Oath, right? The physicians take, first do no harm. That traditionally, I think the mindset is applied to an individual patient. And I would say, and I've met thousands of orthopedic surgeons, I would say that they all adhere to that philosophy. So then I would say that it's now time to expand upon its meaning. First do no harm should also mean I need to treat this patient, but when I treat this patient, I should do it in a way that does no harm to future patients or to the environment in which this patient lives. In order to create wellness, I should not create disease, right? The biggest impact of Usher is in the supply chain. And there we have done some preliminary calculations on like the, the whole raw materials that we use. And we have spotting opportunities there. And uh, uh, this year we are launching a, a supplier sustainability program, reaching out to our key suppliers seeing what they are doing, engaging them, and, and hopefully having them on board on this sustainability journey. So we have prioritized our innovation efforts in terms of environmental sustainability, targeting the bracing portfolio specifically. And the reason is that those products are typically used for a relatively short amount of time compared to prosthetics that people use for a longer period and, and, and repeatedly uh, throughout the years. So for the bracing portfolio, it's critical for us to make sure that the uh, carbon footprint of every product is as low as possible and that we have, you know, keep the end of life in, in mind so that it's easy to dispose of and, and has as little impact as possible. What's amazing is like a packaging change can have a positive impact for the environment, but can actually reduce the overall cost of the product, can reduce the volume, the size of the product, therefore improving shelf space in a hospital system who are completely constrained in terms of space and room. It can reduce the amount of a wasted space or air that you're shipping overseas. So at the end of the day, we want to provide our customers or patients with what they need. 
nothing more and nothing less. And that applies both to the products and the packaging. Packaging is a critical part of the product. It is something that allows us to transport the products in a safe manner. And it's also the first thing that the customer sees. But it is one of the first things that they need to dispose of. So we want to make sure when it comes to packaging that uh, the, our customers have as little as possible to dispose of and what they need to get rid of um, is as environmentally friendly as possible. The healthcare market is dynamic. There are many big forces shaping the competitive dynamics and how the industry is evolving. There's constant pressure on cost, technology is changing how things work, and then sustainability is a very, very important topic as well that will shape how we do things going forward. And there's room for growth. If you are able to create good outcomes for patients, if you can create value for healthcare systems, there's plenty of room for growth, but you need to incorporate uh, these trends and, and take a stance on these trends and really have an ambitious plan around how you want to mold your strategy and how you want to prioritize in order to achieve growth in, uh, in, in what is a very dynamic market.